Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this day. Good morning. Uh, it is Tuesday, March 19th, and we were just discussing that it's National Laughter Day today, so we we're trying to figure out what jokes to tell you later. National Laughter Day. <laughs> That's right. Yes, so we're going to laugh out loud in just a bit after we tell you who's on the show. Okay, and on our show today, uh, we're going to have a Joel Nibble here from uh, Freedom Village, and he's going to talk about all the different types of living arrangements that they have there, so he'll tell you all about that. Also, we're having a couple guests on from the du Duplicate Bridge Club, and um, well, if you uh, ever wanted to take a little trip somewhere, guess what? The Orange County Transportation Authority, in conjunction with Amtrak, is uh, having a special program and with the Pacific Surfliner, which is a wonderful train. I was on that many, many years ago. And we also have a doctor from the Laguna Beach Community Clinic, Dr. Jorge Rubo. Yep, sounds good. All right, so today's meetings, we have the third regular board meeting, which will follow our program at 9.30 uh, to 12.30. Uh, and that's actually all we have today. So let's talk about laughter, shall we? We have all heard the saying, laughter is the best medicine. This is the day to take your medicine. Some studies have shown that laughter may boost your immune system, relieve tension, and help you relax. Laugh at yourself first before anyone else can, was said by Elsa Maxwell. And we don't laugh because we're happy, we're happy because we laugh, and that's William James. We change physiologically when we laugh. We stretch muscles throughout our face and body, our pulse and blood pressure goes up, and we breathe faster, sending more oxygen to our tissues. As we all know, laughter can also be contagious. Even faking it seems to have some benefits. Classes called laughter yoga engage the abdominal muscles, lungs, arms, and facial muscles while using humor to get us laughing to cure what ails us. When you and a friend have those long bouts of uncontrolled laughter that end in tears and aching stomach muscles that last a good 10 minutes or longer, you burn between 10 to 40 calories per 10 minutes. So keep giving each other those don't look at me or I'll start laughing looks and I'll keep right on burning more laugh healthy calories and you'll enjoy a good memory too. And as you see on our screen we have don't stop laughing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop laughing. And I'll tell you a very funny joke that I heard right before we came on. What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Well, the crocodile you'll see a little later, or the crocodile we'll see in a while, and the alligator we'll see a little later. I've never been a good joke teller. Anyway, Ken, do you have a good joke that we I, can all laugh I'll at? I'll try and think of one. Uh, um, you know what? See, I'm I, laughing already. I was, I was telling Lisa that sometimes on Sundays on KBC Radio, they have the motor van, uh, which is kind of a car show kind of thing, and he always has these corny jokes. And I heard one the other day I really liked, and I forgot it. So, but it's, it's funny if you ever listen to him. <laughs> All right, uh, our weather today, we are looking at scattered clouds uh, and then increasing clouds as we get to the evening. I told you yesterday we're going to have a, um, some scattered uh, rain coming in Wednesday and Thursday, and it doesn't look like it'll sneak in here tonight. I mean, if it does, we're talking like after 11 o'clock. Both Wednesday and Thursday don't look like a lot of rain, but it is in the forecast, and we could have some uh, sunshine mixed in with that as well. So anywhere from mostly cloudy to scattered rain on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, mostly sunny. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at right now maybe a 30%. I think I put too much there. I think it's more like about 10%. But there is a chance on Saturday and Sunday of an even lighter system than we're going to get Wednesday and Thursday. So some rain. And you can see the temperatures are dropping quite a bit compared to what we had uh, last week. We were a little bit above normal for the first time, I think all year, and uh, now we're going back down and below. So um, 68 today, maybe seven degrees in certain areas around Southern California today. It's still gonna be nice. Still gonna be uh, mostly sunny throughout the day, and we'll get, uh, as I said, more of those clouds will be coming in later on uh, this afternoon, and then increasing by the evening with uh, some rain coming in tomorrow. Again, maybe a quarter of an inch uh, maybe a half inch between the two, but that's, uh, that's probably being a little too generous. Here we are around uh, uh, the area today, and everything's down, I would say, by five degrees at least, maybe even seven degrees. So a big difference today in most areas. Both Big Bear and Palm Springs are about the same, though, uh, today, so not too much uh, changes there. All right, uh, we will be back in just a moment. No 
licensed realtor, you have worked countless hours to ensure your reputation is the best. Your clients know they can trust your judgment, that you'll be around when they need you, and that you will deliver what you promise. In escrow, one company has set that same standard for excellence. Escrow Options Group offers more than just outstanding escrow services. White glove concierge services, wire and fraud protection, custom estimates, and more at no extra charge. Choose the company that mirrors your professionalism. Escrow Options Group. Experience a better option of escrow services. Get out and live your life with the Buzz Around XL Travel Scooter from Golden. The Buzz Around is fun to drive with a tight indoor turning radius so you can go just about anywhere. It's also so easy to charge and offers all day range so you can go further. The Buzz Around even has more leg and foot room for all day driving comfort. Be safe with the XL's ultra bright LED headlight. Plus the Buzz Around XL can be easily taken apart into several lightweight pieces. See for yourself just how easy and affordable mobility freedom can be. Hey Laguna Woods, it's Ken. And Lisa. Did you miss an episode of this day? Not to worry, head over to youtube.com and search Village Television. Here you can find each episode of this day and other community programs such as Good Day OC, Discovering Laguna Woods, and much more. Just click the red subscribe button, then click the bell to be emailed every time we upload a video. Don't miss out. And subscribe today. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on carpet and 50% off tile. Plus, get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on carpet and 50% off tile. Plus, get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Freedom Village Assisted Living celebrates life. Meet your new neighbors as you are supported 24-7 with licensed nurses and caregivers. We offer a loving, caring staff who provide personalized care, including medication management. Energize your life with stimulating activities and a five-star menu created by our award-winning chef. Freedom Village Assisted Living is open to the public and offers short-term respite stays. Call today to see the Freedom Village difference for yourself. Welcome back. With me right now from Freedom Village is Joel Niblett, and you are the administrator there. Welcome. Nice to have you back again. Thank you so much, Ken. Yeah, and uh, today you're going to talk about a few different things, but uh, the first one is, you know, people hear uh, about places like Freedom Village. Uh, they want to know first what type of levels of care that you have or you may not have because uh, it, it can go from independent living all the way to skilled nursing, right? Yes, very true. And something that's unique about Freedom Village is we're a continuing care retirement community. That means we provide uh, independent living, assisted living, and skilled nursing. Mm -hmm. There are communities out there that they do assisted living and, and maybe skilled nursing together. But since we provide the three tiers of care, um, it gives us the ability to help people age in place through the continuum of care that we offer at okay. Freedom Village. Now, as um, people look at that different types of care, they can come in at any point, am I right? In, in other words, I, I know some people may come in there as uh, independent living and end up staying there uh, as their needs grow and other people may come in as well um, when they do have a need for some kind of assisted living, right? Yes, the independent living, are, you know, we have to respond to that idea with the concept that we prefer that people come to us sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage them and uh, to come to an independent living, which is not open to the public, but you come and then we go through the process and then 
Um, and going through that process, we invite you to be part of the Freedom Village community and family. Mm -hmm. Now, the healthcare center for the assisted living and skilled nursing, that is open to the public, but by design, it's there for the Freedom Village uh, residents and family. Okay, okay so. what do you mean by open to the public? That means we can take people from the outside without uh, contractual agreement. So for the assisted living, people can come to us in a respite or they can come to us to stay long term. Okay, and then I see what you're for saying. skill nursing, we can do direct admissions from the hospital that are people that are non contracted okay. Freedom Village residents. Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. And um, I know you've talked about uh, this before, but why don't you briefly just tell the difference between the three levels? Sure, so independent living is where people have the maximum amount of autonomy to live in a, a little apartment-like home mm -hmm. where you have, you know, they can cook, you know, do take care of themselves independently. We do have a venue where they can come in and dine in the main dining area, of course. But really the goal is for them to live within the, uh, uh, the Freedom Village community, maintain their independence, and really maximize their freedom to go on trips, outings, do different things that we take care of for them. Okay. So really their quality of life actually goes up in many mm -hmm. instances when they come to a community like this. They're not taking care of the house. A lot of people, they don't drive. They can still have their car, but then they become reliant, reliant upon us for um, all those different things that we provide, safety, security, and all the amenities and options that anyone would ever want, like, like on a cruise ship. Okay. It's almost endless. People refer to it many times like a cruise ship. Okay, now the next level is assisted living. Yes, so assisted living, people graduate through the continuum to assisted living when someone begins to have a cognitive def deficit or they have uh, physical uh, deficits that might require, um, or clinical needs that might require okay. a licensed nurse. So when they come to assisted living, we do all of their medication, we help mm -hmm. them with bathing, grooming, those types of things that they're unable to do on their own. Okay, and then obviously when you get to skilled nursing, that is uh, a whole different level beyond that where they're looked upon uh, continually, right? Yeah, so the skilled nursing is really post-acute, meaning okay. that there's been an acute or hospital stay of some kind okay. for a wide variety of reasons, and then they come to skilled nursing most of the time for short-term therapy that short-term therapy turns into 10 days, 15 days. We do have people that stay long-term. Okay. And uh, in both assisted living and skilled nursing, we do offer hospice services. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so we're there to provide uh, that uh, service for people also when that time is there. Okay, and when, you, uh, when it comes to some of the skilled nursing, you have these special rooms, these suites, right? Yeah, we have serenity suites and they're private rooms. All of our rooms in our skilled nursing are semi-private except for two rooms where it's really, it's, uh, it's a plush room, it's a comfortable setting, couches, mm -hmm. a loved one can come in and, and sit and relax with them. Uh, all of our skilled nursing rooms have private restrooms so there's no shared uh, restroom for anyone so that's a nice feature that we have. And uh, in addition to these three branches of service, we also offer what's called Services for You. So Services for You is a caregiver service that we started about four or five years ago where someone can age in place, meaning that we, the employees for Services for You, are private caregivers that are employed by Freedom Village. Okay. So they're not someone that you would uh, find who's not insured and hasn't gone through all of the state and federal background checks. So we help people stay at the highest functioning level as long as possible, whether that's independent, assisted, and or skilled. Okay. So um, we Now started. these are, I, I wanna clarify though, uh, when it comes to the private care services, is that for people who are at Freedom Village or people who are living in whatever home they're living now and you offer that service as well? Yeah, good question, Ken. That is only for the Freedom Villagers. Okay, Yes. Right. It, yeah, so anyone else, they, there's a lot of certain, you know, agencies out there that right, provide, right. they just don't provide the same caliber of uh, background checks and training that we provide. Okay, now uh, I know you're, you're doing uh, some upgrades, new construction and things, right? Yeah, so last time I was on I talked about we were 
in the process of finishing one of the projects, which is at the end of our three-story building, which is where our assisted living is, which mm -hmm. is the top two floors, third floor or first floor is skilled. We've built two beautiful terraces that go around the end of the building that overlook the uh, the whole lake forest area. So mm -hmm. really, all you see is the palm trees. And and with that, we've complemented our services now. Where in May 1st, we're going to be opening up uh, a memory care unit in our assisted living. Mm -hmm. It's going to be for our Freedom Villagers. So it's a nine bed unit, fully remodeled, all wood floors, okay. semi private, and a couple private rooms to help meet the growing demand for those type of uh, residents that are going to be needing those services. And it's going to be strictly for Freedom Villagers. Okay, if somebody is interested in coming there, uh, they can take a tour? Absolutely, anytime. Okay. They can come to Independent Living and they can also come to the Health Center at any time for a tour. We do offer uh, scheduled programs okay. that we do in Independent Living. They just have to call the marketing department and we invite people to come out experience who we are, if you haven't already, and um, and then walk around and get to know the residents and get a feel for who we are by right. coming to one of the presentations. All right, very good, and you're just up on El Toro Road, and is it is it Raymond? It's What's the Cornelius. Road Cornelius, yeah. okay. Yeah. I always forget that street, but it's the, I know where it's at because I pass by it every day. Yes. All right, uh, if you wanna, um, Learn more, you can go to freedomvillage.org, and if you're interested, uh, give them a call at 949-472-4733, and uh, set up an appointment, they'll help you out. Jill, good to see you. Thank you so Take much. Care. Again. We'll be right back. Freedom Village Skilled Nursing offers rehabilitation after surgery with our team of on-site therapy professionals. We are proud that our quality care measures are recognized by Medicare. We support you with your recovery with a caring staff and registered nurses around the clock. Freedom Village Skilled Nursing is conveniently located near three hospitals, open to the public and offers private serenity suites. Call today to experience first-class care for your loved one. Hey Laguna Woods, it's Ken. And Lisa. Did you miss an episode of this day? Not to worry, head over to youtube.com and search Village Television. Here you can find each episode of this day and other community programs such as Good Day OC, Discovering Laguna Woods, and much more. Just click the red subscribe button, then click the bell to be emailed every time we upload a video. Don't miss out. And subscribe today. At family-owned Capistrano Toyota, I've been teaching my staff for years that we always say yes to our customers. Can you help me get financed? Yes, we can help. Will you walk my dog? Yes. Will you change our baby's diapers? Yes, of course. But they may be taking this yes thing a little bit too far. Come and see for yourself that at Capistrano Toyota, we always say yes to our customers. Dental health is important and it can be tough to find the best fit for your needs. Flora Stenger General and Specialty Dental Practice covers most of my dental needs in one location. Their on-staff specialists provide seamless services and communication between me, my doctors, and my insurance company. Located right down the road from Laguna Woods, our bus service stops right in front of their building. For the first time, I'm getting the dental care I need with the treatment I deserve. And my dental health has never been better. Call and book your first appointment today. I'm glad I did. My name is Angela. I'm 51 years old and I was diagnosed with a heart murmur. Before the surgery, I was struggling to breathe. I was missing out a lot on playing with my son. I decided to go to Hogue from Nevada to have my mitral valve repair because the surgeons there are excellent. My personal approach to patient care is really taking care of a patient as if they were a member of my family. After the surgery, I can chase him and run around and play with him as much as he wants. <laughs> it's like a miracle. It's like this patient made it through the toughest time in their life, and it's, it's an awesome feeling. The feeling to see these patients recover, especially when they're critically ill like that, it's just the best feeling in the world. We wanted this to be one of the top cardiovascular centers in the region, the state, the nation. 
and to be recognized for that. We've achieved that. If I had to go back and make the same choice, I would choose Hogue again. They treated me like family. This changed my life, and now I get to be with my son. And I'd like to welcome from the Duplicate Bridge Club, we have Margaret Bennett here today, and also Greta Sherman Fox. And I'd like to welcome you ladies here. Thank you. And uh, first of all, um, you're gonna talk about some uh, current classes that are going on, right? Yes. Right yeah. now, on Friday morning, between 9.30 and 11.30, I'm teaching the third part of a three-part series by Audrey Grant. And actually, we only have three weeks left. So okay. for the next three weeks, I'm going to teach a strong two club opening and then slam bidding. So anybody that needs to brush up on those skills is certainly welcome to come to the class. Okay, all right, very good. And then uh, there's also a boot camp. Well, the boot camp will be coming up and we're very happy that we uh, have uh, such an expert in our midst. Uh, Marjorie Michelin lives here and uh, she has done this boot camp once before and it was very successful and this will be coming up on sunday april 28th it's an all-day thing where they come in at 10 in the morning and uh, they will have lunch with us and then uh, we'll be continuing on until three in the afternoon it's like uh, you know, improving the skills, it's for intermediate and advanced players, tips on which play gives you the optimum uh, chance. And I think it's going to be a very, very good uh, offering that she's giving, and uh, we're hoping to have a big crowd again. Yeah, always good to keep your skills up. It is, yeah. and she's such an expert. Uh, what does she have? 10,000 or more? Oh, more than 10,000 points. She's yeah. a. Uh, gold life master. Oh wow! Yeah. Very so, good. So we're lucky to have a person like that in our midst. Yeah, and now you're you're also doing beginning bridge classes on Monday evening and Friday morning, which is fantastic because I know that um, you know over the years sometimes they've had beginning bridge classes, but maybe only specific times of the year, and people are going well. You know, we would like to learn bridge. Exactly. And we don't want to wait months before we have to learn it and then they lose interest. And now that Greta is the yeah. chair of the education committee and committed yeah, that's really to good. teaching students bridge, right. uh, I think you're going to find a lot of new classes. The, uh, the class that I'm starting in um, actually the end of April, the Monday evening class, mm -hmm. will begin on April 29th and it will be from 6.30 to 8.30. So it's a perfect opportunity for those who are interested in bridge and maybe are still working and can't make the morning class or it's just easier really to get nice. out in yeah. the evening, yes. Yeah. Simultaneously, we're going to start a fr another Friday morning class and that will begin on Friday, May 3rd, 9.30 to 11.30 and we'll go through the series just like we did this past uh, okay. Uh, six months. Now, I, before I forget, are, are these all Clubhouse Seven? Oh yes. Okay. Absolutely yeah, in the bridge room. Okay. Yes. That's what I thought, but I wanted to. I wanted to make sure. Um, now, what's this one? Mike's lessons on Saturday and Tuesday evening. Same thing, but somebody else doing it. Oh, this is Mike Murray, and Mike has taught for a while. Uh, Mike uh, on Saturday morning is doing a continuation of Learn Bridge in a Day. He does a lesson, and now he is going to start a so-called new group where he does a half hour lesson and then they will be playing hands. Zero to 20 game will be like a regular game, but for these people who need a little extra touch, we will have mentors that will help Very them good. with their bidding. And it's wonderful. That's nice, that's a good way to go, I uh -huh. think. And you have a newcomer game on Saturdays. Right, and he, uh, actually uh, this is part of a Saturday and then Saturday afternoons, along with the regular game. We have uh, people come in who are the zero to 20 group. They've been in the probably Margaret's class or Mike's class, and we have mentors helping them with their bidding. We want to be sure these new people feel like they're included with the rest of the club members. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's important. Well, Believe it, it or not, even though bridge is supposed to be a fun game, it can be intimidating. And so the more right. practice, people have, I think they overcome their jitters and their nervousness and, and really want to dive in and, and yeah. learn the game. 
Now, what's this uh, other one? We, we've just been talking about um, you know, the name Duplicate Bridge Club, and here's Progressive Bridge. The duplicate What's the bridge, yes. Well, <laughs> I mean, I know we don't have time to go on the major differences, but the is main it the difference same thing? is it's not as competitive, and okay. uh, it's not um, as challenging, and pe it's more relaxed game, and it's for people who don't really enjoy the competitiveness of duplicate bridge, but still love the game okay. and want to play. Is it the same basic game? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes, the same bidding, the same defense, okay. the same play of the hand. But no, no duplicate boards. Every hand, every uh, round, uh, you're shuffling and dealing because I play in one of those games. Okay. And, but it's just the it's sort of a social thing for a lot of people. They okay. love to and come it's in. Less pressure. Yeah. Okay. And probably there's at least uh, 12 or 14 tables every Thursday afternoon. That's the Thursday afternoon game beginning okay. at 12:30, and then there's also a game on Wednesday evening mm -hmm. beginning at 6:30. Mm -hmm. So those so are perfect of opportunities. opportunities. Absolutely, yes. And then you have um, uh, if people want to sign up for your duplicate bridge, uh, LagunaBridge.com, by the way, is the uh, the website. But then you have like a newsletter, the blast to for this, announcements. This and is a newsletter that uh, that comes out uh, just. Copies okay. of it comes out on uh, the internet. People okay. can sign up for it. Gives you an update on everything that's going on for the week, and it's put out weekly. Okay, is that wonderful? Good. It just I think so. And again, as I said, uh, LagunaBridge.com. It's easy to remember. Is the website. You can get all kinds of information there. And uh, you just heard there are many, many, many opportunities for you if you want to get better at bridge, learn it for the first time. Maybe you've played bridge elsewhere and you want to find other people. There's a lot of bridge players here, believe me. Oh, yes. You won't have any problem with that. That's okay, right. Well, right. Right. It's a great yeah. club. I've been a member, I think, uh, probably the 20 years I've lived here, I've been a member of the club. Yeah, it's very great, good. Great. I consider Greta the matriarch of the bridge club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, thank you both, Margaret and Greta, for coming on today. And uh, we'll see you uh, next month. And again, uh, you want more information, lagunabridge.com, you'll find it there. Yeah. We'll be back. Great. Thank you. the Laguna Beach Free Clinic was born. It began with a group of volunteer physicians and local activists who believed in access to health care, regardless of one's ability to pay. By the mid-80s, it adopted a sliding fee scale, changed its name to the Laguna Beach Community Clinic, and started to receive major grants for its groundbreaking work in HIV AIDS education, testing, and treatment, led by Dr. Corey Jorgensen. In 1994, the clinic purchased its own building, a facility that today includes a pharmacy and lab. Dr. Tom Bent took the helm in 2002, navigating the clinic through the challenges of expanding its services to a growing patient population. Today, the Laguna Beach Community Clinic is open six days a week, providing a full scope of medical services to more than 3,700 patients. Every day I'm fortunate to lead an organization that prepares not only to meet the needs of our community, but every individual that walks through that door. That preparation boils down to ensuring that those individuals understand that they're walking into a welcoming medical home. People often think of visiting a doctor's office or a walk-in urgent care. We're neither. We're much more, and we provide it regardless of one's ability to pay. As a medical home, our goal is to ensure that every individual that walks through our doors understands that we truly care. We provide a full scope of services, including prenatal care, pediatrics, family medicine, internal medicine, as well as access to subspecialty care, including endocrinology, nephrology, neurology, urology, and some optometry. 
On top of all this, not only are we meeting the needs of our patients today, but in the future as well, through the clinical medical education of the nurse practitioner students, the medical students, and the family medicine residents that rotate through our clinic. What we provide and how we provide it makes an impact on the lives of our patients. My name is Sue Thompson and I moved to Laguna Beach in 1996 where I first heard of the Laguna Beach Community Clinic. In 2005, I found a pretty large lump under one of my breasts and came immediately to the clinic. At the time, I was unemployed, had no insurance. I would say within 24 to 48 hours, the nurses at the clinic called me back and had set me up with a program. I'm internally grateful for the treatment I was uh, given. They don't say remission anymore, they say no evidence of the disease. So I'm living well as an artist in Laguna Beach. My name is Edward Lucero and I have been coming to the clinic for 21 years. I put my full trust in the doctors and am living proof that with their help I have now been able to live with AIDS for the past 21 years. I feel that I have a very complete life and a very robust life. And in so being, I have been asked to serve on the board of directors and will serve as an advocate to other patients of the clinic. It's an honor and a privilege to work alongside men and women whose achievements in the field of family medicine, HIV AIDS, and diabetes have been recognized by their peers and honored by the communities that they serve. It takes a special kind of person to work at the clinic, and that applies to everyone on staff. For each of us, our highest ambition is to take care of the health of our community, friends, and neighbors. I'm Melanie Balestra, and I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner. One of the reasons I have loved working here for 20 years is that we just don't treat the patient. We treat the entire family. Hi, I'm Adriana. What I enjoy the most is the ability to make a difference in people's lives. This is truly what I'm most passionate about. We've never been alone on this journey, and with the help of our supporters and expert guidance, we've made tremendous progress evolving our sustainability model in order to ensure that the continuity of care that our patients rely on continues moving forward. I think you can agree with me when I say that the vision of the clinic's founders continue to guide and inspire us today, and that the Laguna Beach Community Clinic truly is a center of excellence. Welcome back. I have Michael Litchie here, who is the Manager of Communications for the Pacific Surfliner. And he's going to tell us all about the engines and the new trains and also some amazing specials that they have. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Really a pleasure well, to I be was, here. Well, I was really excited to learn about the Pacific Surfliner and that there's a lot of new things going on. Why don't you give me a kind of an overview for those that don't know? Definitely, yeah. So um, for those who aren't familiar with the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner, uh, we're a passenger train service that goes from San Diego. Diego all the way up to San Luis Obispo, mm -hmm. uh, including th here through Orange County. And um, we travel about 351 miles, serve 27 stations, um, and go to a lot of just amazing destinations up and down the coast uh, in California. Right, right. Now some, some people might say, oh, you know, I could get there a lot faster if I take the freeway, but many times that is not the case because of traffic. Definitely, I think that's a great point um, and one of the selling features of taking the train. Um, while it isn't always the fastest form of transportation, it is much more predictable than mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, especially going through downtown LA, if you're trying to get up to, to Santa Barbara or points north of there, um, the train is, is definitely, um, on a lot of days, a faster, but more importantly, a more relaxing and, and much more pleasant way to get from uh, point A to point B. Right. Um, and we can talk a little bit about that too, um, how great it, it is on board the train um, yes. and how much better than sitting in your car and driving in traffic. Well, it is. Now, don't give me a description of, of sort of what people can look forward to when they are on the train. I mean, there's different types of, of um, 
where you sit, right? Exactly, and okay. I think, I mean, you can see in the background some of the photos from uh, on board the train, but um, we have really spacious reclining seats. We have tables so you can sit with your family and friends, right. play cards, um, play with your grandkids, as you can see in play the- bridge. Play bridge. Play <laughs> bridge, uh, duplicate bridge even. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a, a much more relaxing way to go. You have the freedom right. to get up and walk around. We have right. a cafe car on board um, where you can buy snacks and light meals. Um, and beer, wine, and cocktails if you're so inclined, right, right. which you can't do while you're driving for sure. That's um, right. Oh, look, so, they're showing it now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and, and just, you know, big picture windows to enjoy the view. Yeah. Um, you know, if you if you would like, we also have um, free onboard Wi-Fi, so you mm -hmm. can stay connected while you're on mm -hmm. the train. Mm -hmm. Power outlets at every seat. Mm -hmm. You can take your bicycle on board the train for free if you'd like okay. to get off and ride it when you um, get to your destination. Um, so it's, it's just really a, a very relaxing, um, uh, fun way to travel and right. um, and you get to see views that you don't see from the car. That's right, that's right, right along the ocean. I mean, I've been on the train so many times to Santa Barbara and it really is nice, even though it takes a while because you're doing all of the stops, but then I'm not getting frustrated. I'm not right. saying, oh my gosh, I can't stand the traffic. So I would agree that that's really nice. Let's talk about what, um, you know, what's the closest station to our folks here in Laguna Woods? Sure, so um, you're really fortunate here in Laguna Woods. You have two Pacific Surf Liner stations almost equidistant uh, from Laguna Woods. So uh, the two closest would be in Irvine and San Juan Capistrano. Okay. So depending on if you're heading south towards San Diego, you probably want to go to San Juan Capistrano or north. Um, to LA and Santa Barbara, you'd probably want to leave from the Irvine station, but both are um, very convenient to Laguna Woods. Mm -hmm. um, both have uh, parking on site, okay, and uh, it's easy to, to get in and out to, to take the train from either location. Okay, let's, um, there are new engines, because somebody told me that they live near the train station, <coughs> they said the new engines are so quiet. Oh great, yeah, well I'm glad they've, uh, yeah, they've noticed they noticed that. Yeah, we, we did actually um, introduce new locomotives for the trains, and okay. those are the, the, um, the uh, things that pull the train and push it depending on the direction you go. Um, but we introduced new um, clean burning um, Siemens locomotives that okay. are manufactured by a, a German company called Siemens. Yes. Um, and they are much quieter than our older locomotives and, and much cleaner as well. So um, it's it's really a, a benefit to our riders and to the residents along the tracks. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that they're noticing the difference. So they are, yeah. yeah, we've been implementing those over the last uh, several months and um, we'll continue to, to roll them out. Um, and we're also hoping they'll be much more reliable as well, so uh, we'll have fewer uh, mechanical issues and that sort yeah. of thing. All right, good. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the specials. First, let's yes. start off with the specials for our seniors, because those are the folks that are watching our program. What, what right. do you have for them? So we have a few um, kind of ongoing discounts for the Pacific Surfliner, uh, and you can find all these on our website, pacificsurfliner.com. Right. Um, but we have a everyday discount for seniors age 62 and older, so it's a 15% discount off our lowest fare. Um, and that's available every day of the year. Right. Um, so it's really a, a, a great deal and um, kind of a, a good base discount that um, that seniors who are 62 and older can take advantage of. Okay. Is that also on both seats where you have the, the you know, because you can have a reserve seat too, right? Yeah, So okay. and we can talk about that a little too. There are two classes of service on board our trains. There's an unreserved coach service, mm -hmm. um, which is still a great, very comfortable reclining right. seat. And then we have a business class service, which is a small surcharge um, and you have a reserve seat, a little more leg room, um, the service of a dedicated uh, attendant on the train, and then you also uh, get some snacks and beverages included in your fare. Okay. Um, so the, the senior fare is, is good on kind of the base discount. You can still upgrade that to the business class okay. fare. Okay, um, great. great. So we have that fare every day and then we have a couple limited time promotions um, that are, are really great deals. Um, we have one right now, a midweek promotion. So if you travel with us Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. um, we have a little bit more capacity on our trains than on the weekends. Um, you can, uh, if, if you buy one full adult fare or senior fare, you can travel with a companion for half off. Okay, um, that's great. And that's wow. good. Our entire route from San Diego to San Luis Obispo, okay. Monday through Thursday. Okay, great. And then just, I, I wanted to also point out that there are uh, other specials too, but they can go on to PacificSurfLiner.com to get those as well. Like I know there's a Disneyland one and then Angels one too, right? Yeah, we have a few other ones. Um, we've partnered with uh, some of the great places there there are to visit uh, in Orange County and Southern California. So we, uh, the, I'll mention real quick the Disney one. Um, so we have a Disney Disneyland Resort promotion ongoing right now through the end of May um, that offers both a savings on Disneyland Resort tickets. If right. you use your Pacific Surfliner reservation number, you get five percent off mm -hmm. um, regular Disneyland prices, which 
may not seem like a lot, but anyone who knows Disneyland knows that it, they really don't discount tickets. No, so yeah, it's yeah. a great deal. Um, and plus kids ride free on the train tour from Anaheim. So oh, it's a great way to uh, to take the grandkids and have right. a day at Disneyland. Right. Um, and when you get to the train station, we have a free transfer from the oh, train perfect. station. I was going to ask you, you about off. that. Fantastic. Yeah, drops you off right at the, the front door of, of the the resort. So. That's got to beat the parking there, so that's Definitely, excellent. Yes. All right, well, thank you so much for the information. I really appreciate you coming in, yes. and uh, we will help promote this and get more people on the train. Great, appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And remember, get out of your car and get on the Pacific Surfliner because it's really a fun ride. We'll be right back. My name is Angela, I'm 51 years old and I was diagnosed with a heart murmur. Before the surgery I was struggling to breathe. I was missing out a lot on playing with my son. I decided to go to Hogue from Nevada to have my mitral valve repair because the surgeons there are excellent. My personal approach to patient care is really taking care of a patient as if they were a member of my family. After the surgery, I can chase him and run around and play with him as much as he wants. <laughs> it's like a miracle. It's like this patient made it through the toughest time in their life, and it's, it's an awesome feeling. The feeling to see these patients recover, especially when they're critically ill like that, it's just the best feeling in the world. We wanted this to be one of the top cardiovascular centers in the region, the state, the nation and to be recognized for that. We've achieved that. If I had to go back and make the same choice, I would choose Hogue again. They treated me like family. This changed my life, and now I get to be with my son. Welcome to South County Adult Day Services. Conveniently located right here in Laguna Woods, we provide a safe, secure environment where you or your loved one can spend the day. Come socialize with friends, engage in enriching activities, receive the expert care you need, and participate in fun hobbies. Improve your mental and physical health and maintain your independence. We even take care of transportation. For a free tour, call us at 949-855-9444 or visit us at our center between El Toro and Moulton Parkway right next to the Olive Garden. Achieve a level of comfort you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. I just love that ring. Where'd you get it? I got it at the jewelry box. I saw it on Facebook, and then I went in and bought it. They have the most unique, awesome pre-owned pieces for amazing prices. The jewelry box of Lake Forest, voted best jewelry store in Orange County for eight straight years, offering unmatched prices on fine jewelry and watches, refurbished to new condition. Visit us in our store or shop our website for just arrived items. The jewelry box, it's about trust. Welcome back. Jorge Rubel is here from the Laguna Beach uh, Community Clinic and he has some great information to tell us about the clinic and all of the services that they offer. Welcome. Thank you for having us today. You're welcome. So very interesting. You know, I think people may or may not think about Laguna Beach as serving this community, but tell me how that works. So yeah, so the, the clinic actually has been around for, believe it or not, 49 years and it initially started off as a free clinic mm -hmm. um, and then uh, throughout time it became a nonprofit and uh, you know, began to see patients at, on a sliding scale okay. basis um, and didn't really s uh, take insurance other than the county insurance. Uh, but again, th with the Affordable Care Act, things have changed and the clinic has uh, kind of undergone a metamorphosis again. Mm -hmm. And now the clinic uh, takes, is, is, continues to serve who we serve and still have a sliding scale, uh, but take uh, different insurances, whether it be Medicare, Medi-Cal, uh, PPO. So we're there to serve anybody who, who needs a medical home. So what would be the difference if someone was to go to a community clinic versus a hospital or maybe a doctor's office here in the area? Um, I, think, I think what separates us and uh, makes us a little bit unique is I think we truly are a medical home in the sense of 
Um, we really try to coordinate the care uh, from multiple aspects, especially as we tend to get older, um, the chronic medical issues tend to be more complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to see different subspecialists. Things become, uh, again, become a little bit more complicated and everybody needs to be on the same page, on the same team, mm -hmm. uh, communicating and making sure things are being followed up on. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, even though uh, you, know, you, you have to see a large number of patients, I think you know, I'm still able to sit down and get to know my patients uh, really well, get to know them, their families, uh, in a very personalized way, but right. still providing that quality of care. I think uh, when you look at the clinic as a whole, um, and you know everybody has uh, medical metrics that they've got to potentially meet and stuff, the clinic does uh, really well and outperforms not only our colleagues in private practice, uh, but other uh, our colleagues in community clinics, not just in California, but throughout throughout the country actually. Okay, and what kind of services does the, uh, does the clinic offer? So uh, the, the clinic provides services from, from prenatal care, pediatrics, um, you know, family medicine. We do have an internist on staff as well, mm -hmm. uh, but we're very fortunate also to have some specialty care on site as well, whether it's a neurologist, mm. uh, a, an endocrinologist, a nephrologist, a urologist, uh, and a neurologist all wow. on site. Yeah, so, you have all of that. Yeah, we do. That's so, great. So we're very fortunate to have them there um, uh, giving their time uh, for our patients. Okay, now let's say that somebody was going to someone here locally, either a doctor's office or the hospital. How, when they come to visit you, should they transfer those records or how does that work? Well, it depends. Uh, we're, uh, if they come and see us, uh, you know, first, obviously, we, we don't want people to incur any costs that they don't need, so making sure that we're in their network uh, okay. so that we're all set up to make sure things are smooth for them. Um, in terms of the medical records, if, uh, if, if we're lucky enough where they've been seen uh, somewhere where they have the same electronic medical record system mm -hmm. that we do, uh, then it's all there for us to, to, to retrieve very easily and review. Right. But if not, it's as simple as us following up with uh, either the hospitals that they've been seen with mm -hmm. or their uh, previous primary care physician and uh, requesting those records. And okay. uh, sometimes it may happen quickly, sometimes it may take yeah. a little bit more time, but we'll get it and then uh, make sure we get the whole story. Okay, now I, you did mention that you are already seeing people that are from Laguna Woods. Yeah. Uh, and then we have had the uh, our senior center refer down to you guys as well. So what are some of the things that our residents can look forward to when they go down there. Also, where is it located? It's right on which the, it's on, one thirty off of the one thirty three. It's if you take down the canyon, okay, um, and are in downtown, we're right by off of Third Street, right? Oh, next okay, to, right next to the Suzy Q, which oh, is good. a senior center who we partner with. Uh, regularly uh, to provide services for seniors as well. Okay, all right, good. So. And then what are some of the things that they could look forward to? I know you mentioned that you all have the same doctors and things like that, but what are our residents saying about you now? I, th I think it's really the, the personalized care where um, they're not feeling uh, rushed. They're able mm -hmm. to sit down and uh, share their, their story, um, and share their health to make sure that they're being heard right. so that we can um, you know, meet their needs. I think okay. that's a big thing. I mean, the, the quality of care is going to be there, but I think it's also having that time to provide that personalized care that they might right. not necessarily get somewhere else. Right, right. Well, sounds great. And yeah. I like the fact that you're not very far away. What is it? It take about 15 minutes to 10, get there from 10, here? 15 minutes. Right. As long as it's not the summer, right? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, that road can get pretty backed <laughs> yeah. up, so they better be careful. <laughs> that's true. You might have to leave a little earlier. Yeah. Um, Transportation-wise, um, I, I know that we have buses here, mm -hmm. so I don't know if they actually take you there. They probably would if there was an appointment. Yeah, no, uh, uh, regularly some of the patients have their insurances, or th depending okay. on where they leave, also set up ride shares where they get dropped off and then picked up after their appointments, so, okay. uh, which will also help with the, the parking in Laguna. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, thank you for having us again. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. And remember, if you wanted to um, go down to the Laguna Beach uh, Community Clinic, you can always give them a call at 949-494-0761 or go to lbclinic.org. We'll be right back. Do you know the difference between the parts of Medicare? Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. There are many important facts you need to understand about Medicare to make sure you get the most out of the Medicare plans and benefits that are available to you. 
My name is Erin Reed, and I'm a licensed Medicare expert, and I would love to help you navigate the complicated Medicare system. Please call me today for a free consultation so we can figure out the plan that is right for you. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town. Arrive hungry. Real hungry. Start with a massive burger. Charred. Juicy. Add bacon. A buttery bun. Piled high. Serve it up. Wash it down. Creamy. Poppy. Fruity. Malty. We're not done yet. Q time. Deep fried. Sauce soap. Pork ribs. Meaty. Tender. I'm full. Where to next? All new. Burgers Brew and Q. Tuesday at 9. Cooking Channel. Stay fired up. Did you know that we are living longer, healthier lives than ever before? And did you know that social interaction, brain stimulation, and exercise improve your quality of life? Did you know the Saddleback College Emeritus Institute offers 200 tuition-free classes to older adults in South Orange County? With over 30 plus locations between Lake Forest and San Clemente, it has never been easier to take advantage of your third act of life. Sign up today. My name's Erica, and I believe each mind matters. A movement is growing. A movement for mental health. It includes millions of people like me. Like me. Like me. Who are ready to create change. Because half of us will experience a mental health challenge. But no one is alone. We all have mental health. Sometimes we're OK. Sometimes we need support. And when support is needed, it's OK to reach out. Because people can and do get better. And we make it possible by speaking up. Being open and honest. Living stigma free. Hope starts with me. This is the mental health movement. Join us. Join us. Join us. Our movie for Friday, Academy Award winning Green Book. Can you believe we've brought this to you guys? Pretty impressive. That'll be at 2 and 7 p.m. on Friday. And Dr. Don Shirley is a world-class African-American pianist who is about to embark on a concert tour in the Deep South in 1962. In need of a driver and protection, Shirley recruits Tony Lip, who is a tough-talking bouncer from an Italian-American neighborhood in the Bronx. Despite their differences, the two men soon develop an unexpected bond while confronting racism and danger in an era of segregation. And that is, um, that has uh, Vigo, Vigo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali and Linda Cardellini. And it really is a good movie. I've seen it and I have to say that I really like the camaraderie between the two guys and all of the struggles that they go through. And uh, you know, just kind of the, the way it plays out. So I think you'll really like that. So that's on Friday. Uh, March 22nd at 2 and 7 p.m. Then on Monday, we have The Birdman of Alcatraz. Wow, that is from 1962. Sentenced to life in solitary confinement after killing a prison guard, despondent inmate Robert Stroud, who is played by Burt Lancaster, combats loneliness and tedium by nursing an ailing bird back to health. Stroud develops an interest in caring for birds and becomes a talented orn ornithologist. After publishing, publishing a book on bird diseases from jail, he meets and marries Stella, who is played by Betty Field, a fellow bird enthusiast. When Stroud is suddenly moved to Alcatraz, though, his marriage and work are both threatened. So Burt Lancaster, Carl Malden, and Thelma Ritter are in that one, and that'll be Monday, March 25th at 2 and 6 p.m. Now let's take a look at that weather. I'm so excited that the rain really isn't going to be that much here. Uh, if really at all, so it looks like it's not going to be uh, coming into place. So today we look like we're going to have some nice weather, some scattered clouds, and the temperatures are going to be in the 60s today. 6852, mostly sunny evening clouds, scattered rain tomorrow, 6250, scattered rain again on Thursday, Friday, mostly sunny, partly cloudy, light drizzle maybe on Saturday. 30% is light drizzle, it's not too bad. Uh, the Swallows Day Parade is on uh, Saturday, so hopefully that isn't impairing. 
Uh, then uh, around town, we've got some great temperatures all over. Um, Big Bear, 54, 29. Palm Springs at a lovely 84 with nice cool nights at 57. So mostly sunny day with increasing evening clouds today. And uh, tomorrow we have Supervisor Lisa Bartlett here, who is also with Dr. Jeff Nagel. We have Ken Post here with the Hearing Remedy. And then we also have Auto Nation, which is uh, gonna talk to us a little bit about all the things that they have to offer. And don't forget, right after this, you can see uh, the meeting, which starts at 9.30. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day in the village.